You may see this kind of video on social media. It's called whiteboard animation. It could be a great way to make an explainer video. With whiteboard animation, you can start a faceless YouTube channel. In this video, I will share the method of making a YouTube video with whiteboard animation and AI voiceover. So, without further ado, let's dive in. First, we have to select a topic. You can research on the internet or take the help of ChatGPT. Today I will make a video on Alexander the Great, a historical video. Before creating the video, we need to write a script. If you can write your own script, then it will be great. Otherwise, you can write it with ChatGPT. After coming to ChatGPT, just enter the prompt as I want to make a video on Alexander the Great with whiteboard animation. Please write a detailed script for me. Don't forget to include the animation suggestions. And here it is. You can see ChatGPT provides a detailed script with the animation suggestion. That's really impressive. Now we will make a voiceover only with the narration part of the script. Open a doc file and then copy and paste only the narration part of the script. OK, our script is ready. Now I will generate a voiceover with an AI tool, Fleeky AI. You can use any AI tool or can record your own voice. After coming to Fleeky AI, click on sign up from here. Now create an account with your Google or email account. After creating the account, click on the new file button from here. Now we have to enter some data. First of all, select the file type as audio only. Then select the language and accents. I will keep it English and US. After that, give a name to your file. Then select the empty file from here and hit the submit button. This is the audio generation page. First, we have to select a voice actor. Click on the voice actor named Sarah from here. Now you will find a vast number of voice actors. Listen to some of them and then select one. In this case, always select a deep voice. And yes, don't forget to click on apply this voice to all the voiceover. After selecting the voice actor, come to the doc file and copy the narration text and then paste it into the voiceover text box of Fleeky. After entering the narration text, we will add a piece of background music. To do this come back to the common scene and click on choose file. Here we will select background music for our video. Select appropriate background music. Now we are done, click on the download button from here. Alright, our voiceover and script are ready. Now let's create the animation. Before that, if you look at the script, you will notice the scene details of the video. We need to collect some images according to the scene. You can download images from stock image sites like Pixabay. Or you can generate images with an AI image generator. I will generate images with Leonardo AI. After coming to Leonardo AI, select a featured model, then just enter the scene details as the prompt to generate the images. Generate multiple images for every scene. OK, our images are ready, now let's make the animation. To do this I will use Videoscribe. Open your browser and search for Videoscribe on Google or another search engine. Now click on the first link. This is the Videoscribe website. After coming to the home page, click on the free trail button from here. Now create an account with your personal details and email address. After signing up, you may have to verify your email. After all of this log into your account. Now you will find two options here. Videoscribe for browser and Videoscribe for desktop. If you want to use a desktop version, you can download it. You can use the web version also. But this time, I will use the browser version. Alright, this is the Videoscribe creator dashboard. On the top, you will notice some templates, you can explore more templates from here. There are so many templates available in various use cases. It will reduce your time and effort. But this time I won't use any templates. Let's start with a blank page. Click on new project from here. Select the aspect ratio and then give a name to your project. After all is set, hit the create project button. And here we are, this is the creator page of Videoscribe. In the middle is the camera area where elements will appear, on the right side you will find the scene, and on the bottom there is the timeline. You can turn it off. Okay, let's insert an image. 
Come to the image option from here. Now click on upload your own and then select the first image. Our image has been inserted in the camera area. Adjust the size and position. Alright, now I will enter some text about our video, click on the text button from here. Now go back to the doc file and copy the first paragraph and then paste it into the text box. After that customize the text. I will remove some parts of the text. Then set the text alignment. You can change the font and color also. Okay, now let's talk about the animation. First, select the image and then come to the animation tab. You can change the animation type. There are so many types of animation available here, such as hand drawing, pen drawing, draw, and others. I will select hand draw. After that, select the hand draw. You will find a vast of hand draw types here. I will select a hand with a brush. Alright, let's see a preview. Click on the preview button from here. That's perfect, you can customize the animation time. If you want to increase or decrease the drawing time, then set the value from here. Okay, now I will insert the voiceover. To do this, click on the audio button from here and then, come to the left panel. Here you will find an option, upload audio. Click on it and then upload your audio file. And our audio has been uploaded to our project. Let's see a preview. Welcome to our journey into the life and conquests of one of history's most legendary you may notice our animation is not synced with the audio. To solve this issue, come to the timeline, select the text tab, and then come to the left panel. We have to increase the text emphasis animation duration. Let's make it 3. OK, now see the preview again. Welcome to our journey into the life and conquests of one of history's most legendary figures, Alexander the Great. That's not perfect yet, let's add an erase animation to the text. Come to the left panel again and then click on the exit animation from here. Now select an animation from here. I will select erase. After that, select a hand animation. I will select a hand with a rubber. Adjust the exit animation timing. After all of this, see the preview again. Alexander the Great. Our now it's perfect. Let's add the next scene. To create another scene, you can add a scene from here or can add a camera to the existing scene. We will try both of the methods. First, let's add a camera. Before that, we have to add the next element. Click on the image tab from here. This time I won't upload any images, but use an image from the video scribe library. To do this and search for an element keyword. I will search for a map. You will find a vast number of elements as per your keyword. You can select one of them. Let's select this one. OK, now place the position of this map outside of the current camera view. After that, add a new camera by clicking here. Now adjust the position of the camera too. Be sure the camera toe covers the map, not the existing element. After that, adjust the map animation timing like before. See the preview if needed. OK, after that, I will add another image. This time I will upload an image as per need of our context. Adjust the positions and size of the image. Keep it inside of the camera too. After that, customize the animation. Ok friends, now let's create a scene. To do this, click on the plus icon from here. Now add another image according to the narration. Then adjust the size and positions of the image. After that, customize the animation. In this way, you can add a camera or scene and then add elements to make a full-length whiteboard animation video. After completing the editing, click on the share button to export the video. And here is our result. Welcome to our journey into the life and conquests of one of history's most legendary figures, Alexander the Great. Our story begins in 356 BC in the ancient city of Pella, where a young boy named Alexander was born to King Philip Aya and Queen Olympias. Alexander's education was entrusted to the famous philosopher Aristotle. In 336 BC, tragedy struck when King Philip was assassinated, and the 20-year-old You can see a lot of watermarks, because we used a trial version. If you want to remove the watermark you have to buy a subscription. 
Alright, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience with creating whiteboard animation with VideoScribe. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy creating!